Did you know that your mind is like a fertile ground? I heard Earl Nightingale from his The Strangest Secret say that your mind is like a fertile ground. If you sow poison, you will reap poison. If you sow, sow good things, you will reap good things. here. Did you know that your mind is like a fertile ground? I heard Earl Nightingale from his The Strangest Secret say that your mind is like a fertile ground. If you sow poison, you will reap poison. If you sow, sow good things, you will reap good things. Well, I'm not a farmer, but I just wanted to talk to you about how a farmer first prepares his ground even before he sows his seeds. No one is sponsoring me and I'm not promoting how to sow uh, tomato seeds. But I just have this as an example of on how you can sow the right seeds on the right ground. And how fertile is your ground. So the farmer, he starts you know, looking at the ground. He'll see what are the changes that the ground needs, that the land needs. Are there weeds growing? Are there bushes and thorns within the land. So he starts preparing the land even before he starts sowing seeds into the land. So how is your mind? Are there weeds? Are there negativity? Are, this, are there, is there any you know, victim mindset that's still uh, you know, lying underneath your mind? So uh, it means that you have to say it's time for change. That's the way you're preparing your mind, your land. You're preparing it and saying that it's time to change myself. It's time, enough is enough. It's time to uh, have a breakthrough in my life. So now once the land is ready, the farmer starts sowing seeds. Now if he wants to have watermelon, will he sow tomato seeds? And if he wants tomatoes or anything else, will he sow watermelon seeds? No, you have to start sowing the right seeds on your fertile ground, that your, that your ground is fertile. And that's the same thing you have to start doing for your mind. God has given us a tool right under our nose, which is our mouth, our tongue. And that's really powerful. And that tool can create anything and has a power to manifest anything. And we should understand that we have the power to create anything. We have the power to create our own destiny. And for that, once you've conditioned your mind and once it's ready, you start speaking affirmations. You start speaking life over, your, over everything, over every situation. It doesn't matter how horrible your situation is. I uh, was watching this K-drama recently uh, called True Beauty and I heard this beautiful uh, explanation about how uh, juicy your tomatoes will be. Um, in Spain, when they are growing tomatoes, the soil is really not very, uh, it's very tough. It's like hard clay. So uh, how will, you know, the seeds, once you, uh, once you sow it, how is it going to really you know, grow and harvest? But it is during those tough situations when the tough, when the soil is tough, though it takes time, the plant, the tomato plants, they start growing. Why do I take tomato seeds? I'm not really sure. That's the seed that I had at hand. That's why I'm actually taking out this example for you. But I, I hope you will understand uh, what I'm trying to tell you. So during that, uh, when, the, uh, when the soil is really tough, the plant starts growing in that tough situation and handling itself beautifully and it comes out and it produces amazing juicy tomatoes and it's really tasty and I've tasted a lot of them uh, back in Dubai and Oman and uh, I'm not sure if it's available in India if you happen to get your hand over it I know we are supposed to eat local this is just you know out of the box I'm just talking try try uh, you know how tasty it is uh, but what I'm trying to say is, even though you're going through situations, tough situations, tough, you know, when your life is tough and you say it's so difficult, I cannot handle it, even though you see your soil, your land is still tough, 
you start speaking, you start sowing your seed and the what you're going to harvest is like going to be like juicy tomatoes. Your results are going to be mighty. Your harvest is going to be plenty. So remember that it doesn't matter what your situation is. Keep on affirming. Keep on speaking. Keep on speaking good things about your life. That you're prosperous. That you're wealthy. That you're rich. That you are helping millions of women. That you're impacting others. That you're adding value to others. That you're confident. That you're beautiful. It doesn't matter how you look. Because who you are on the inside. Rising up from the ashes is what true beauty is. You have to get out of the ashes to see how beautiful you are. To see how worthy you are. How valuable you are. Because you are valuable. Each life that God has created, He has created us with a purpose and we are valuable. He sees us as valuable. We don't see us as uh, uh, you know, valuable. So see yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and say that I'm valuable. I'm worthy. I am the best. I am my own heroine. So take that responsibility. Take full charge of your life and start speaking and start sowing the good seeds so you produce the same fruit out of your life. If you want uh, you know, wealth, start speaking wealth. If you want to speak uh, healing, start speaking healing that I'm healed, I'm healthy, I take care of my body, I am uh, having a healthy body, I am strong, I'm fit. If you want to be self-confident, start saying that I'm confident, I am worthy, I'm more than enough. Uh, if you want to be, uh, you know, if you want to have many friends in your life, start saying that I attract good friends. I attract friends who are like-minded like me. So when you start sowing the right things into your mind, you will attract those things. That's how powerful your uh, mouth is, your tongue is. I remember, uh, you know, when my older daughter was born and I, I was going through uh, and fighting some sickness and challenges in my life with my health, I came across this book by Charles Camps on the power of the tongue. And that completely changed my life because that was a time when I was, you know, drowning myself in low self-esteem uh, on uh, having a victim mindset and my confidence at this was at this zero. And when I read that, it said that, you know, there's so much of power in your tongue. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. If you're going to speak death, if you're going to keep on saying that, you know, uh, I am sick, I am weak, I am poor, I cannot even make another, uh, uh, make a penny, I cannot afford this. And that is what the book said, that's what your result will be. That's what you're going to get. And if you want to get great results, like I was saying, you will have to change what you're speaking. You have to alter. You have to change the pattern of your speech. Every day from the time you rise up in the morning, you have to change the pattern of your speech. Uh, I'm sure you have read the book uh, of the power of neuroplasticity by Shad Hemstetter. Uh, he talks about the importance of self-talk. And there was this time in his life when he was overweight and no matter what he tried, he went and, you know, he worked out, he changed many diets, nothing happened. And then he said, why not start speaking to myself? So he uh, made a list of affirmations and then he started reading it and he recorded it in a voice recorder. And he, you know, would play, he would wake up in the morning and he was, when he was brushing his teeth and when he was shaving, he started putting this affirmations and he started programming his mind. He started work, allowing his mind to be programmed continuously. And that self-talk completely changed him. And within the first two weeks, he lost around 25 pounds just by listening to life, listening to powerful words because he changed the program of his mind. He changed what he spoke. And guess what happened? Just like he lost 25 pounds, his wife was wondering why, you know, what's happening, who's talking to him. So she eavesdropped and she started listening to him and she listened to another 10 pounds. 
So imagine what can happen when you start affirming because there is power in affirmations and affirmations my friend are your way to success. So start taking this seriously and start sowing things. If you sow poison, if you sow negativity, that's what you will reap. If you sow, sow positivity into your life, into your mind, if you start sowing good things, good words, powerful words into your life, that is what you are going to reap. Like I remember, you know, when my mentor, my, when my spiritual mentor started telling me, she said that, Annie, you start walking by faith, which means you call those things that be not as though they were. You are calling, it's, you're not talking about your situation, what, how horrible it is. You are calling those things in the future as if it's already happening beautifully. You are calling those things that you are in the future as if that is the result you want. Who would want to have a horrible result? Who would want to have a negative result in your life? Who would want to fail in the future? Even though we are failing in the current present time, even though there are storms, even though there are hardships in life, we want, we all want to see good results. We want to see success in our life. Which mother, which parent want to see their child always failing? They want to help build them up. They want to help them rise, face their fears and rise up, right? So that is what we have to be doing. We have to face our fears and rise up and start speaking powerfully over our lives. So affirmations. Take it seriously once again, as I am telling you, the power of the tongue is absolutely your way to manifesting great things in your life. I love you all and thank you. And before you leave, make sure to download this free goal setting formula, which I prepared for you from the description below. And if you like more videos like this, subscribe and like and share this video. Thank you.